Hey guys, I'm Shayla Andrews, owner of Spaces in Bloom Designs, and today is a big update. We are in my kitchen, and things are going really well. We are probably a week, week and a half to finish, which is like, oh, thank you, because I am so done with the remodeling. But everything's super exciting. So I'm standing right in front of my new farm sink. I'm so excited about it. It's huge, it's beautiful, and it's nice and white, so which is what I love. Um, I've ordered a new faucet that, that will be installed this week. The countertops go in this week, so that's really exciting. Um, what else happened since our last video? My new hood was installed. So I used to have a stainless steel hood, which was quite a bit smaller, but I wanted something to be a lot bigger and just be a real statement piece. So they built this for me. I matched the color of the island with the color of the hood, so it ties those two things together. And then I kept the rest of the cabinets the white color. So the countertops will be the same on both of these, and then we'll have a marble backsplash. So it's all gonna tie together, and it's going to look really, really great. So my pantry door is here. It's not completely ready to go, but it's here. And it's, they took my old door and they changed it up. So it's kind of got the farmhouse feel that I'm looking for. It's going to have frosted glass, and um, I'm going to to stain it the same color as the barn door, which is going to be really great. So we'll tie those two things together and it'll bring a little bit of warmth into the space. The light fixtures I've done also are wood, so those bring more warmth. And then I have my farmhouse table, which I had before, and it has wood. So all that will warm up the space because I've got a lot of cold colors. So that's really gonna warm up the space, but it's, it's really pulling together. So that's kind of the kitchen, that's kind of where we're at. Here, we're standing in the middle of the family room. So if you'll recall before, I had huge arches that were dividing up the kitchen from the family room. So now I have such an open space that I'm really, really loving. So it feels so much lighter and brighter and it's fantastic. So in here, we have the large um, doors that we added. So they're all glass doors. We added a window over here because this all got pushed out and um, we pushed it out about six feet. So it's, it's a bit bigger. So we did that to kind of move the entrance to my bedroom, which I'll show you in just a second. So over here, if you'll recall before, we had, this is where my TV was. So we ripped that out, put in new bookcases right here. And so now I have two bookcases that flank the fireplace, which is really great. And then we painted all of that white to match the kitchen cabinets. So it's going to look really great. The brick is the same, we didn't change the brick. Um, it's all gonna tie together really well. So right here, the barn door is actually outside because they're painting, but this is where the barn door goes. So through here is, this is how you used to get to my master bedroom. So this wall right here, this was my master bedroom entrance. So I had double doors that went into my master bedroom. This is our guest bedroom and guest bath. And so it's kind of awkward to, to share a hallway with that when you have guests. So now the guests have their own space. They have a barn door that we can close up when we're not using it and um, give our guests some privacy when they're here, which is really nice. So over this way is how you get into my master bedroom now. So this part that we're standing in right here, this used to be outside. So where my door is right here, this used to be a door that went from my bedroom to the outside patio. So we pulled all this out and now you enter into my bedroom through this door, which is really nice because it makes it feel a lot more private. You can't see into our master bedroom from the entrance, which is really nice. And it just makes it feel like a real private entrance. So we, we're really happy with how it turned out. So this is kind of what's going on in this room. Now, last week I showed you about my stairs. That was an added on project, which when you're doing remodels, you're gonna have added on projects. They might not be as big as the stairs that we did, but you're always gonna have something, especially if you're living in a remodel, because every day you're gonna look at things and you're gonna be like, this is what I would, I'd like to change, or ooh, you know what, when, I, when I'm doing my things, I do this, and so I wanna move this. So you'll notice those things, but 
So let me show you how we did the stairs and how they turned out. I'm really excited about it. All right, so this is how the stairs are coming. So all the stairs are still, still covered up so you can't see how awesome they look, but now you can get an idea of what all this wood treatment is looking like. So I've taken, they've taken the wood all the way to the top. Last video you saw it was all raw wood. Now they have painted it. It's the same color as my cabinets, the same color as the trim. Um, I did end up having to change my trim. I, I wasn't wanting to do that, but in the end, I really just want it to all look really fresh, and so I needed to change the trim in order to do that. So I went with the trim that matches my cabinets, and it just looks light and bright. So we pulled the color from the other room all the way through, because as you can see, the way my house is, you're standing in the entrance of my house, and so it flows all the way through. So you're seeing they're still working on painting. There was a spot, a crack in the ceiling that they had to fix. So all these little things that they're getting taken care of, they're just the last little bits, but it's really looking great. So